The Unified Field Protocol is a companion to the scalar wave laser. The Unified Field Protocol is based on an understanding, sort of a combination of Lily and my, uh, our research into quantum physics and our own personal rejuvenation and exploration. It's based on a combination of quantum physics, yogic alchemy, and principles of osteopathic cranial uh, sacral wave dynamics, and pleomorphic medicine as well. So I'm going to give you a brief introdu introduction of how these different systems weave together in the unified field protocol. Basically, everything in the body that's tense and stressed has to do with polarity. In fact, everything in the physical plane has to do with polarity. The universe that we live in is 99% neutrality. It's all space. Everything in matter is a contraction of that energy of that space, and that contraction manifests as matter, as physicality. So the situation on this planet is that a lot of people on the planet are identifying with this polarity, with this matter, instead of, as yogis and mystics do, identifying with the neutrality. So the unified field protocol is based on changing the dynamics, shifting from polarity back into neutrality. Now lasers are a great medium to do this because they're, for one, they're, they're neutral, they're pure light energy, and then two, if you understand how to modulate them using scalar waves to open up the quantum space, you can very easily and effectively shift anything you're working on, whether it's a knee injury and the cells in that injury area, whether it's an organ or a gland uh, or the cranial sacral system or the subtle channels of energy. The primary systems that we're working with in the unified field protocol are the cells, are the glands, are the cranial sacral wave dynamic pathway, and the subtle energies or plexuses or called the chakras in the alternative uh, uh, scene. So basically the protocol, which we'll demonstrate a little bit later, is a sequential process using lasers to unwind. You have to understand that your cells are constantly replicating. That's what cells do, they replicate. And the cells in your body, in the old age, I'm gonna regress here and simply discuss very briefly what's going on on the planet because this will give a better reference for what's happening with our unified field protocol. Basically the planet changes every 26,000 years. This is a, a scientific fact. If you look in any science book, you'll, you'll see precession is the 26,000 year cycle that the axis of the earth uh, transits upon. Uh, ancient mystics, ancient cultures all understood this. Literally every ancient culture has some way of explaining this. A lot of folks call it the shift of the ages. Really it's not some fancy thing. It's just a season shift, albeit a larger plane of relativity. In the same way that we go through the seasons on planet Earth, our star system is going through larger seasons as it transverses the universal sort of uh, experience. So basically, we, if we understand that we're entering into a new shift, according to most cultures right now, we understand that in the old shift, the reference dimensionally, in each new season, there's a different set of equations. It's like looking through a microscope. You look under one lens and suddenly you see one thing. If you change that lens, suddenly it's like, whoa, you're looking at a totally different experience. That's just a difference. The same thing you're looking at and experiencing, it's simply a different relativity based on the conditions of that lens. In the new cycle, as the, the Earth is spinning like a top, that axis changes. This is called precession, orients to a different uh, star system and astrophysics and cosmology, everything changes. When it comes back, it goes back to another set of circumstances. Those are based in the polarity, in the gravity, in the relativity, in perception. So as we transverse this shift, the shift is from the old reference, which was that of the body, people transverse from past to present to future and identify with their body and their personality. In the new season, it's the field the unified field. That's the new perception and relativity. So the process that we do is about shifting the cellular field from identifying as this sort of solid contraction back into a looser neutral plane reference. And we do that by systematically unwinding the glands in the body and the cranial sacral system and the subtle energy. When those systems unwind, we open up, we expand into a connected situation. <laughs>